Hey you guys, my name is Matt McCoy. I'm the founder of loopcommunity.com and also an Ableton Live certified trainer. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to use multi-outs with our app Prime. So Prime is a free app that works on iPhone, iPad, and Mac, and you can use it to run all of your tracks. Well, what's really cool about Prime is that instead of running out of a headphone jack where you're just sending your sound guy one mix of all the audio, we made it so you can use an audio interface to send out each instrument out of its own output. And that way, your sound guy has way more control over the mix of the tracks. So I'm gonna show you how to use that today. And we're gonna use the Motu Ultralight MK4. This is an awesome interface for Prime for running multi-outs. It gives you eight outputs in the back. It's, it can plug in right into Prime via USB. It also has MIDI inputs for a Looptimus controller or any sort of MIDI controller. But this gives you eight outs. It's a rock steady device that works awesome. So I'm gonna set all this stuff up and then I'll show you how it works. All right, so the way to set this up, I've got the Motu interface here and I'm using also a Radial Pro D8. A Pro D8 is a rack mount DI that gives you eight different DIs all in one. It's pretty awesome. So we're gonna basically plug in the Motu, we're gonna plug in each channel of the Motu into its own DI. So on the back of the Motu, you have eight different outputs, and I'm just using a standard patch cable. So I'm coming out of output one, and I'm going into DI number one on the radial Pro D8. And then out of output two on the Motu into DI number two, and then so forth. Now to connect all of this to Prime, I'm just using a standard USB cable, and I'm using the Apple uh, Lightning adapter which takes USB and you can plug right into Prime using that. Prime should automatically see the Motu. And once you have all that set up, the rest of the configuration happens inside of Prime. And now inside of Prime, what I can do is I can press the outs button and the outs button now opens up the in and out settings for every channel inside of Prime. So you can see that every channel right now is set to mono and I can choose which output on the interface the Motu goes out. So right now I have the acoustic guitar going out output four, and the bass is gonna go out output four. The drums, let's see, I could make that five. You can also set these to be stereo, so I could say send the electric guitars out stereo one and two, or at stereo in five and six. So you can choose whether the channels are sending out stereo in pairs, like one and two, or in mono. All right, so once you have all that configured, let's go ahead and just press play and see what that sounds like. Now that you have all the tracks routed to a different output on the Motu, your sound guy can now adjust the volume of the individual instruments, which gives him a lot more flexibility. So instead of just sending him one mix of all the instruments, now he can adjust the volume of the drums or the volume of the electric guitar. And this can make your tracks sound a lot better. So, Using multi-outs with Prime is super easy, and it's even better with the Motu Ultralight MK4. Check it out.